Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone, I mean good day everyone So today we will be learning a little bit of some examples on order of operations and especially involving integers Okay, since this is our topic so of course, um, in order of operations, let's just recall um, the acronym of GEMDAS. Oops, that's not cute. Okay, we have the GEMDAS. Let me separate it a little bit. Let's try to click this. Okay. Okay, GEMDAS, meaning the first one is of course the grouping. And then the next one is the exponents. And then we have the multiplication of the division we have the addition and then we have the subtraction okay on this case po ito po ay may or sa gitna hindi po siya multiplication and division but it's multiplication or division sino man yung mauna and same goes dito may or din and then the next thing that we follow is called the left sorry let me just write it on the dito sa bottom okay we have the left associativity meaning you have to solve from left to right okay Firstly po, um, let's define groupings muna kasi ito lang naman may other symbols na ginagamit. And our symbols for groupings is of course the very first one. Yung pinakauna nyo kailangan isolve is may parentheses. Then we have our brackets and then we have our faces. Meaning, for example, kung magkakaroon kayo ng gantong klase ng given, 6 plus 2. I'm sorry. Plus 2. Then we have um, plus 3 divided by 4 okay so ang papasok na una sa isip nyo ay unahin ko si division bakit? kasi um, una siya dun sa addition but remember na una si grouping so meaning sabi daw dito una mong gagawin lahat ng nasa loob ng parenthesis so meaning ito muna unahin ko hindi ko pwedeng i-add si plus 3 agad kasi nga si plus 3 is under ng brackets okay so yan so, unahin ko si 6 plus 2, giving you an answer of 6 plus 2 is 8. We have plus 3, and then we have divided by 4. Since ito ay mag-isa na lang, what, what you need to actually do is write it alone na lang. We have 8 plus 3. Okay, the next thing that you have to do is you can either reduce the um the, the grouping symbol as parenthesis kasi wala na rin namang ibang symbol na kailangan which is but then again yun nga since still it's under a grouping unahin ko muna to that is 8 plus 3 the answer is 11 divided by 4 and then of course 11 divided by 4 cannot be or hindi mo sa cannot be pero wala siyang whole number na sagot the answer would be um, 11 over 4 okay so yun yung sa case ng grouping so I do hope you understand that so anyways um, for you to better understand yung ating GEMDAS and our um, left associativity, let's proceed now with our examples. So, ju so you just have to remember always GEMDAS. Kung ano yung uunahin mo. Okay po. GEMDAS. So, say we have um, negative 3 squared plus negative 8 divided by negative 2. Okay. So, the first, first things first, sorry. Let me just... Um, let me just write it, this down properly. Negative 8 divided by 9. So first things first, sabi daw dito, you have to operate yung GEMDAS. Okay? So sabi natin, groupings muna. You will see here in the given, may parenthesis. Okay? So you have to ask yourself, take note po, ah, it's not necessarily parenthesis yung inuuna natin. It's actually the, the operation within the parenthesis. So you ask yourself, is there an operation within this parenthesis? Meaning, meron ka bang addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? Kung wala, therefore, you proceed to the next one. Which is, of course, exponent. Sabi naman dito, so you ask yourself, is there any exponents here? So, if you see an exponent, exponents are just simply those small numbers above. Dito. Those things. Okay? Those are your exponents. And my exponents. What you need to do is you just simply have to evaluate that. Multiply the number on how many uh, to itself on, uh, depending on how many numbers is on the exponent part meaning yung negative 3 I, I will not multiply ito po ko it's just a common misconception that I will multiply negative 3 is equals to negative 3 times 2 hindi po ganyan okay hindi nyo po siya multiply dito it's a common misconception when it comes to exponents 
So what actually happens here is you take the number inside and you multiply it twice to itself. So dalawang negative 3. Kung meron kang negative 4 raised to 4, the answer is not 4 times 4 but that's negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 and so on. Okay po, so I hope na you got that a little bit. So yun lang po yung gagawin natin and it's very important po pagdating sa ating um, exponents. Okay po? So let's delete this one kasi it's a little bit irrelevant. Okay? So, yun, so the answer here would just simply be operations po on integers. Kapag nagmamultiply ng dalawang number at parehas ng sign, may it be positive or negative, basta parehas na positive, parehas na negative, Therefore, your answer would now be equals to positive and then 9. But this, yung, take note po, ah, yung ruling po natin will only work if and only if dalawa yung number na minamultiply mo. Never po akong nagbigay ng ganito. Negative times negative times negative. Ang always ko pong binibigay is this one. Negative times negative and positive times positive is equals to positive. Okay, and I never gave this one po. Negative times negative times negative or positive times positive times positive. I never gave this. Okay? Ito lang po. Bakit po? Why? Kasi kung ganito yung magiging given mo, negative times negative, sorry, times negative, firstly, evaluate this one. Kasi left associativity tayo. Negative times negative is equals to positive. Okay? And then again, kunin mo na to. So that would be positive times negative. Therefore, magiging negative. Okay? Later on, I will teach you ano ba yung shortcut dyan. Okay? So, going back again. Sorry. Meron. Medyo um, maraming sideline. Uh, side topics. Let me just select this one. Sorry. Um, delete. Okay. So, going back. So, ito na. This would become positive 9 plus negative 8 divided by negative 2. Okay po? So now what we need to do here is we have to evaluate base po saan? Base sa m das na. Which is of course multiplication or division. So unahin natin si division. Kasi yan yung unang binigay sa inyo. Depende dito. Okay po? Unang binigay is multiplication or division. Sunod si addition and subtraction. So, negative 8 divided by 2. The answer is just simply. Kaya natin equal sa sa 2. Okay? Negative 8 divided by negative 2. The answer is just simply. Um, positive 4. So, that's 9. Sorry, I'm just writing the equals dito sa 2. 9 plus 4. Okay? And then 9 plus 4 would just simply be equals to positive 30 or just simply 30 and this would be your final answer okay po so yan po ang ginagawa po natin is talagang inaatado natin so if i will try to write this down properly nung wala kasama yung solution and just simply yung ating um cancellations kasi ganito po ang mag solve it hindi naman sa lagi pero this is how i solve nagka cancel out po ako okay negative 3 squared is positive 9 Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is um, positive 4. And then I have this one. 9 plus 4, the answer is 13. Okay po. Sorry. Uh, I usually do this. Two lines or just simply. Uh, so yeah. Positive 13. Now let's go to another example. I hope you got that. Okay. Um, another example. Say we have negative 8 times negative 5. Divided by 2 cube. Okay? Firstly po, again, we evaluate the cube. Bakit po? As exponent yan. So, um, I'll just give a side um, discussion. Iba po ang sagot sa negative 2 cube kesa sa negative 2 cube. Okay po? Maybe let's, uh, let's just change the exponent. Let's make it um, 2 versus negative 2 squared. The answer here would be negative um, 2 times 2 
And the answer here would be negative 2 times negative 2. Ano nagkaiba? Ito po, kapag ka walang parenthesis, hindi siya kasama. Pero kapag may parenthesis, pansin nyo, kasama siya na may negative parehas. Okay? So, the answer here would be negative 4. And the answer here would simply be positive 4. So, it's different po. Okay? So, I do hope you got that. Going back. 2 cubed, the answer is 8. So, this is negative 8 times negative 5 divided by 8. So, what would happen here po? The first thing that we evaluate is multiplication po. Huwag niyo pong unahin si division. Okay? So, the first thing we do is multiplication. Remember po, when you are evaluating numbers that is beside each other and separated by parentheses and there is no operation between them, it's, gen uh, it's uh, multiplication. So, what I mean by that? Pag may dalawang number, okay? At may parenthesis sa kanilang pagitan. Okay, and then walang operation dito. None. Wala. Okay? This is automatically 2 times 4. Or 2 times 4 or any other um, uh, representation of multiplication. Kasi medyo marami po yung multiplication actually. So anyways, going back. Negative 8 times negative 5. The answer is positive 40. Divided by 8. And what is 40 divided by 8? The answer is simply positive 5. Okay, so I do hope you got that as well. Next example po. Order of operation tayo guys ha. Okay, we have 16 minus 3 times 6 minus 3 minus 12 and then close bracket. Okay, first thing we do. Ano pong ginagawa natin is the parenthesis groupings muna kasi yun yung pinakauna. Since walang exponent, then we just go with groupings and then whatever operation that is next. First, we evaluate the numbers inside the parenthesis. Sulat natin lahat ng hindi natin ginalaw. Anong gagalawin? This one. So what is 6 minus 3? The answer is 3. Please retain the parenthesis kasi it's important. Okay. Next, operation, multiplication, or division. So, ask yourself, may multiplication kaya dito? Yes, that is ito, itong part na yan. Okay? Ang sabi natin, class, since multiplication has many um, representation, we can have multiplication in ways like this. 3 times 3, tuldo. We have 3 times 3, yung x. We have 3, parenthesis, 3, multiplication pa rin. We have 3 parentheses 3. Okay? So, these are all representations of multiplications. Okay? So, ito, pasok pa rin yan sa multiplication. Okay? So, having these things, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot na 16 minus 9 minus 12. Next thing that we do is we evaluate the subtraction within the group, which is of course yung bracket. Okay? So, 9 minus 12, the answer is um, 9, 10, 11, 12, the answer is negative 3. Okay, bakit po? 9 minus 12. Take note, this is not a sign. This one, not a sign. This one is what? This one is an operation. Operation siya. So, sorry, I hindi pinutol ko. Okay? So, that is technically 9, positive 9, minus positive 12. Ano ba yung ruling natin, class? Kapag ikaw ay nagsusubtract ng uh, subtraction, you change the sign, proceed to addition. Change the sign, proceed to addition. Pag magkaiba ng sign, you subtract. What is 9 minus 12? Ay, 12 minus 9. The answer is 9, 10, 11, 12, 3. And then, you take the sign of the larger number, negative 3. Or, or, if you can visualize... 9 minus 12 obviously, yung 9 na positive babawasan mo ng 12 kumbaga magkakaroon ka ng utang na 3, and utang is just simply negative okay, so having this we go back here, negative 3 correct, next 16 minus negative 3 what's the rule again, you change the sign proceed to addition and what is 16 plus positive 3 the answer is just simply 19. Okay? Another example. 
sorry we're a little bit fast on this but of course you can go back naman okay so let's have something more complicated okay 16 plus 4 negative 16 plus 4 divided by 2 divided by 8 divided by negative 8 plus 4 remember po in uh, in any given po na magkikita nyo like this okay po ang ginagawa nyo muna is we are generally taking the numerator and the denominator as one group I, I mean the numerator as one group and the denominator as another group meaning ito talaga may grouping yan ibig sabihin before you evaluate this big fraction you evaluate the numerator and the denominator first okay ibig sabihin lang yan um and yes, simplify first the numerator and then the denominator. Then lang po. Okay po? And of course, since that is a fraction, we always consider the fraction as division. Kung meron akong 6 over 3, this is also equals to 6 divided by 3. Same goes dito. Okay, so paano, bago kayo makarating sa 6 divided by 3, evaluate nyo muna yung numerators separately and the denominators separately. So what would happen here would be negative 16 plus 4 divided by 2. Yan yung unang grupo nyo. And yung pangalawang grupo nyo is just simply 8 divided by negative 8 plus 4. Let's evaluate. Negative 16 plus 4, the answer is negative 12. Why? Magkaiba ng sign. Subtract, take the number of the larger number. I take the sign of the larger number. And negative 12 divided by 12, the answer is negative 6. Next one, here on the other side, negative 8 divided by, uh, positive 8 divided by negative 8, the answer is negative 1 plus 4, okay? Negative 1 plus 4, the answer is simply 3. Then again, ito yung ating what? The numerator. And this is our denominator. So what happens here? Ito yung katumbas niya, ito yung taas. Yan. That's the numerator. And this one, this one is your denominator. So meaning, ito yung taas, ito yung baba, and sabi ko nga, what is the, um, what is the division form of this given fraction? Yung negative 6 in the division form ng any fraction would be your um, dividend. And then yung denominator is our divisor. And then dividing this will give you an answer of negative 2 kasi magkaiba ng sign. This is your final answer. Negative 2. Right? So meaning, this given let me just write it down para maita nyo. Um, diba? Plus 4 divided by 2 divided by 8 divided by negative 8 plus 4 the answer is negative 2. And this is your final answer. Okay? Next, I think we have one last um, given. Let's make it a little bit complicated. Okay. See, we have negative 4, negative 3, divided by 6, minus 2, times 5, minus negative 6, uh, I mean, minus negative 8, plus 6, divided by 2. Wow. This is complicated. Okay, anong unang ginagawa, boys and girls? The first thing that we do is we evaluate the parentheses. Operations inside the parentheses. Take note, wala pong operations sa loob niyan. Dalawang grupo yan. This is group number 1 and group number 2. Walang operation, therefore hindi mo sila muna gagalawin. We are following lang yung ating rules, okay? Pero, some cases pwede kayong ano, um, ma mauna yan. Okay? Pero, let's not practice that. So, 6 divided by 2, ito yung unang grupo. So, ito yung una nating evaluate. And this is how I will answer this one. Okay po? I will do cancellations. Let me just move this um, little bit down. Okay, move it down a little bit. Okay, there you go. So, yan. Let's use my green pen. This one is 6 divided by 2. The answer is 3. Okay po? The next thing I do is, of course, I will evaluate muna since uh, may groupings pa rin, which is ito, yan, evaluate ko muna yung numbers sa loob niyan. And then, uh, the numbers inside is 5 
minus negative 8 plus 3. Okay? So, what is 5 minus negative 8? Change the sign. Proceed to addition. 5 plus 8 is... Um, uh, it's 13. Yeah, there you go. And 13 plus 3, the answer is simply 16. Next, take note. We now go to the MDAS. Okay? Kasi wala nang groupings. Wala na ring exponent. So, the next thing we do here is we evaluate all the multiplications and then we divide. Okay? And then, of course, there's still another multiplication here. Okay po? So, again, from left to right. So, let's evaluate po muna from left to right. Ito po muna unahin natin. Negative 4 times negative 3, the answer is 4, 8, 12, positive 12. Then, susunod. Ito naman, kasi left to right tayo. Okay? 12 divided by 6, the answer is simply positive 2. Okay? Next one. Sunod ba natin yung minus 2? Hindi po. Susunod natin is 3, ay 2, times 16. Bakit po? Kasi again, our rule is M does. Multiplication muna bago yung subtraction and addition. Okay? And 2 times negative, 2 times 16, I mean, the answer is um, that's 32, I guess. Am I correct? Yeah, it's 32. And then lastly, we have 2 minus 32. The answer is 2 minus 32 para makita nyo maigi. The answer is of course negative 30. Okay, and this would be your final answer. So, let's try to solve this one using the step-by-step -step process. Para medyo ma-picture out nyo. Paano kung mahaba talaga yung solution? What do we do actually? 5 minus negative 8 plus 6 divided by 2. Okay. Again, you uh, please watch carefully what happens here. Okay, let me just... No, 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 don't be a zero. There you go. Step by step, hindi ko ga, pag hindi ginalaw, huwag niyong alisin. So, I will rewrite everything that I will not touch. And ang, tata, ang gagalawin ko lang is this one. So, this is plus 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3. Next one, inalis ko yung parenthesis kasi well, uh, there's no need for the parenthesis anymore. Next one, I will evaluate muna this group. Okay? So, this is negative 4 times negative 3. Do not touch anything that you do not need to. Okay, muna? Okay, sige. 5 minus 8 minus negative 8. The answer is, of course, um, 13 plus 3. The answer is 16. Okay, next. M does. Multiplication. Muna, yung pinakaunang multiplication. So, this is um, 4, 8, 12. Positive 12 divided by 6. Minus 2 times 16. I'm sorry. And 12 divided by 6. Ito naman susunod. The answer is 2 minus 2 times 16. And lastly, multiplication naman. 2 minus 32. Kasi this is the 32. Okay. And 2 minus 32. The answer is simply negative 30. This is our final answer. Same as this one. Same as this one. Okay? So, I do hope you got that. Okay po? Medyo mahirap po ang order of operations in the sense na ano kaya yung uunahin ko. Okay? But, yun nga, if you're following the rules, okay, strictly po, and you are not doing anything that is outside done, and wala kang ibang inuuna na dapat um, mahuli, or things like that, just, just follow the rules po. Okay? No, uh, nothing will change naman in the methods of the order of operations okay so yeah. uh, just follow it and, of, and hopefully you will get the correct answer okay and of course if you are having doubts with your answer po you can always use your calculator to check whether your solutions are correct okay and yun nga lang problema sa calculator it would look like this parenthesis lang po kasi meron sa, cal sa mga majority of calculators so, yan, divide by 6, minus 2, parentheses, 5 minus negative 8, plus parentheses. So, lagi pong nagiging doble lang po yung parentheses. Uh, the calculator considers the parentheses as, double parentheses as brackets yung dulo. Okay. So, this would be your calculator form po. 
So, pag kinalculate nyo yan, let's, maybe like, I'm going to try para sure tayo. Negative 4, negative 3, divided by 6, minus 2 times 5, minus negative 8, plus 6 divided by 2. Okay, the answer is also negative 30. Po. Okay po? So, yeah. So, I do hope you got our lesson for today. And thank you for listening everyone. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Pop.